little 15 inch TV which I've got so I can uh, take it to my mate's uh, pike fishing boat when we go to Ireland and show off frankly because he's got everything and uh, but he hasn't got one of these. Um, it's meant actually for proper leisure use so that's primarily caravans and motorhomes and the like but anywhere where you've got a bit of 12 volt um, you can plug this in and it's properly designed for 12 volt use which I really get off on, I like that. Um, of course if you've got proper mains um, there's a mains adapter. Now what this does is actually protect the TV also if there's any horrible great spikes in uh, the actual mains level. Now if you're on I believe French campsites the actual mains quality there I believe is notoriously appalling so you won't actually barbecue your set if you've got uh, terrible mains on it. Um, but obviously it's for mobile use so it's not just for being able to plug into uh, full mains electricity it's also for plugging into uh, cigar lighters in your car. Um, now, I've done some homework since I bought this, because I'm, I'm terrible at that. I always want to know that what I've bought is actually good value and the best purchase. And I, I, I upset myself regularly, but I haven't with this. Um, if it goes down to only 8 volts, if your battery is really tired, or if it's overcooked and goes above, say, 16, um, the TV will actually just stop working. But it won't stop working forever. It will just stop working until the voltage gets better. So even if you're just plugged in with an ordinary cigar lighter, um, you're actually safe to, to use the set, which I think is uh, jolly good when you spend some money on it. Now as well as obviously being sort of compactly made, there's all sorts of little design features which is uh, what's prompted me to, to want to tell you about. Um, not least of which is a number of places you can plug things in. Now if you turn it round, that smooth back, um, you just take that little panel off and there's a whole world of plug holes on it. Um, the first one you think is, what's that other silver one? The fact is there's two tuners in the beast. You've got a digital tuner which I've hooked into uh, the home one here. Um, and there's also an analogue plug hole. 30% of the UK doesn't have digital TV. So if you are going out being intrepid and outdoorsy, um, but taking home comforts with, um, you can still get to watch all the regular channels, even if you haven't got full Opus Pocus digital. And likewise, if you're white able to turn the analogue off, well, of course, there's a digital plug hole. It's got everything that like, a normal TV's got, but a whole lot more. There's the SCART socket. Um, I hate SCART standard, but there's so many things you use it. If you've got a video anywhere where you're at, you just plug that straight in. Also, games console or other ways of plugging in videos, that's the yellow and then the red white for what's called composite. Um, so you can plug in pretty much anything there. You've also got uh, red, green, blue or RGB sockets. Um, and that's about plugging in um, a higher quality of image. As is that funny little hole there, that's called S-Video. Um, first appeared on VHS machines. It's chromance and luminance separated. It means a better quality picture. Uh, there's the sound for going in on the RGB. You can have lots of things plugged in all at once. Um, there's even a socket right underneath it, I'm very careful, Whoa. Um, that's where you can plug in a computer. So this could be a display for the likes of a, uh, a PC or something, um, or using it on the motorway with your navigation system so your kids can shout, Dad, go where it's telling you when you're busy thinking you know better than uh, your Navtech map. Um, one thing I do like in particular, because LCD, it matters your viewing angle, look at the swivel on that. Now, a lot of the time, you're going to be looking up at the set if not down at it, so you need to be able to swivel forwards and yet you don't want it to come tumbling off a shelf, so if I lean it ridiculously forwards and then let go, it just falls back. The centre of gravity is right at the back, so it's actually a brilliantly designed little piece of kit for that. It's just one of those little silly things that makes it better than the others. Um, you get loads of little bits and bobs with it, of course, a straightforward set of the uh, red, yellow, white plugins for pretty much any video device, that's the default standard that you see on the front of your telly set, you'll pop open a panel, loads of tellers have got that. Um, there's a little dinky set of headphones and where these go is round the other side. Oh, those are bits of bobs here. Here's a little headphone socket, that's where that goes in. Now the headphones plug in just below this slot here which is of course um, CDs, obviously as well as DVDs. Some people don't know that you can play CDs and all DVD players of course so you can listen to music on the little speakers. That socket there is a USB plug hole and that means a whole world of stuff, hard drives, um, all kinds of gizmoids. Um, Beloved of the young, I'm not sure I'll be using that as much as the SD MMC slot. That's where those cards straight out of your camera, pop it in there and oh, look, I'm on TV. You can uh, video clips, all sorts of things. You, you do it on your DV uh, cam or on your, your portable your, your little um, digital camera and you can see it straight away on the, uh, on the telly, which I think is jolly groovy. The remote is brilliant as well. Let me just show you this. Um, it's a full size one with full size buttons on an actual thing for your hands. So, I mean, to help us, I need glasses, but I can still see where everything is and uh, press the magic on button. Um, and of course, uh, you know, if you are elderly, arthritic, and, and you know, you can actually find these things. I hate those little membrane ones with a stupid little sort of micro switches on them. They're a real pain in the neck. Um, it's very easy to tune. You press this source button, it goes through 
just just scroll through the different sources. Uh, we'll go through to DVB, which stands for Digital Video Broadcasting, which obviously is the digital telly. Um, we've got some channels tuned in. If I hit the setup button, bop like that, and then go across one to the channel setting, hit the middle one, and ask it to channel search, um, and then go down to uh, that button there. Um, boof, off it goes, and it's going to go and look for all the television channels. Um, one thing that's really ticked me off, actually, the only thing that's ticked me off, is you can see this set, that's, that's part of a big television set there, and this has actually picked up at least a few more channels um, than my big plasma, which is a bit annoying. But there again, I suppose it's got to be a super sensitive tuner, um, because you're going to be out and about, aren't you? You're going to be off in different places. Now, I know I've gone on about that angle thing, but as well as, well, that's tuning, we'll just flip this around again. As well as being able to uh, lean it in different directions, what if you just want to put it on the wall, you've got no surface anywhere, um, well, this part of the clever design of this thing is that this little panel pops off neatly and there's the actual gubbins, the actual bits that screw the foot onto the set. If you unscrew that, you can then take that off and then you can use one of these. Um, this is a VESA standard bracket. It's got swivels up and down and sideways. So you literally can, you know, flangle this in any direction you want it to fit. Um, so wherever you are, you can have the TV looking at you. And it is important because, of course, LCD is, is a bit specific about viewing angle. Now I believe it should just be busy tuning away here. Let's lose the headphones so I don't pull any wires. Little clip on the back as well for tidying up the wires once you've fully installed it. There we go, 70%. It just basically scrolls all the way through, finds all your TV channels, um, and it's going to be super cool being able to show off the uh, photographs of the great big pipe fish we're going to catch in Ireland. But the last thing that I really like was the fact that you can accessorise it with this little baggie. Uh, I don't think it's real cheap, but. Fact is, is a cardboard box tank going to last forever, and the set is going to last for a good long time. So I indulge in that. There's a little bag.